everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we're Camera Gaming TCG and Collectibles, and today we are back with another episode of Are They Worth It? The se uh, series that we, you know, go around, you know, to different stores, buy up like different, you know, third party products, and, you know, buy them and see if they're worth opening. Uh, today we're actually opening up, I think, this is our first Magic the Gathering. Uh, are they worth it? Well, no, just, I think this is our first Magic the Gathering opening period since we've been back. You never opened any? I don't think so. I don't think we even opened any old ones. No. So this so, is our first ever. Yeah, this is our first ever, you know, Magic the Gathering opening. So oh, it's going to be pretty neat. Um, I will be honest uh, from the start. I don't know much of anything with Magic the Gathering, um, at least the modern you stuff. You mean much? You mean nothing at all? No, I know some. <laughs> <laughs> I've played. I've played the game. I played. I played. Uh, actually, Plane Walkers on. Uh, wait. PC. This is uh before I think we met. So. Oh wait, you've been out that long? Yeah, Magic the Gathering is like a '90s. Been out since the '90s. I have never heard about it until like a, a little bit after we started YouTube. Yeah, this is the, the Magic the Gathering is the biggest card game. There is, so there's yeah. No, um, I used to play it. I used to play it a lot as a kid, uh, but then my deck got ruined, and then I was like, "Yeah, I Aww. the build the, the the money to put into it again was yeah, it was heartbreaking." So, um, but yeah, so we got these three packs. I got them at Target. I believe they were I think fifteen ninety nine. See, we get think. all of our stuff at Target. Yeah, most <laughs> of the stuff. But I, I, every time we go to Walmart, we can't find product. So, um, these are. See, I don't know. If it, I mean, this is a Wizards of the Coast product, so I don't think this is like a third party, but uh, just to have three packs that are like, I think, 16 bucks, I believe. Between 16 and 18. So, I thought it was 14 something. No, I think it was like 15. But regardless, we have three of these. We're going to open them up and see what we get. Now, all the promo is basically uh, Gorgos uh, Vicious Watcher. Which is a legendary creature. Hey, so. I like that. Oh, it has snowflakes in it. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 it's not snowflakes. It's, it's um, it's it. Well, no, it's uh, sun. each of the lands. You got yeah. plains. You got uh, you got mountain, forest. It's actually swamp. really neat. Oh, that's so. different. So you got three, uh, two packs of Theros Beyond Death, uh, and Rabbit. Ravica Allegiance. So if we do pull anything good in here, um, just, you know, if we're not too, too excited about it, just know that... Uh, we don't know any better. We don't know. But, I mean, if we pull anything good and, you know, we miss it, just, you know, let us know in the comments below. But we thought it would be really cool to open up some Magic the Gathering for, you know, this series of Are They Worth It? We do have other Magic the Gathering products as well, so um, we just haven't opened them yet, so... Because we know nothing about it. Yeah. So, I mean, I know which ones are rare and everything else like that. So, uh, so we got Pious Wayfair. So, ooh, we got a Sleep of the Dead. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like this one. Just makes me think of Piggy. See, I used to use um, a Swamp deck when um, I used to play. Were. Well, no, I used to use a mixture because uh, I believe I had Swamp and uh, Mountain that I used... Uh, in my deck. That's so random. Well, like I like I said, I played the game like really when I was like ten years old, so back in two thousand ten. Ooh, we got basic land island. You and should be ten in two thousand ten. So oh. So Allure of the Unknown was the rare. So I will set the rare there. But you were ten in two thousand and ten? Yeah. Two thousand one. <laughs> hey, I could be twenty right now. <laughs> oh I can make myself younger. Ooh, a aspect of Lamprey. The biggest thing with magic is that I do love the uh, I do love the artwork for some of these cards. Just because I'm so 2001 was when I was 10. I don't know why it's so 
or no, two, 2000. Ooh, mountain basic land. And, oh, this is a uh, hollow. Oh, it's shiny. You got Allure of the Unknown uh, hollow foil. Basically the same rare, just in hollow shiny. form. So, that's pretty neat. So, I got one pack left. So, obviously, oh, that doesn't have an advertisement. So. Ooh. So you got basically dual lands right here, where it's uh, Swamp and Plains. So like some cards that you can, uh, some decks use like obviously multiple, oh with an artifact card. Remember there's. I mean like the cards are cool looking. Yeah and then they have like rotation and everything so. So yeah a lot of these are uh, dual, uh, ooh, you got the rare. Biomancer's uh, familiar. Let's just set that there. And then, oh, we got a uh, hollow common card, which is consigned to the pit. Yeah. Destroy target creature, consigned to the pit, deals two damage to that creature's controller. Pretty nice. And then you got a uh, goblin, which is a token. Oh, cool. It's still like an advertisement, but it's a token. So those are my packs. I think that was pretty neat. Yeah, I actually do like that. Oh, and then you got a set tire, which is, hmm. well, no, I mean, that's an actual advertisement, so that may be actually something, so a wolf. Yeah. So you're used to doing like Pokemon where they have the pack, the card. Mm -hmm. um, but, <laughs> but yeah, if you're new to our channel, uh, consider subscribing, uh, you know, leave a like for this video if you guys enjoyed us. Uh, and especially hit the notification bell. Yeah, they'd be notified when we post more videos. Uh, but yeah, definitely. Um, have oh, you enjoyed this series? Like so you got a bunch of uh, uh, the forest ones. Yeah, I really enjoy these. I like those more. Though. Ooh, Chimera. We got Nyx Lotus, which is the rare. Is mm -hmm. that a hollow? Or is it just a regular? I think, I think it's just it's a regular, regular rare. Thing. Mountain. So, weird. so I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let us know too if you guys are enjoying this. Uh, you know, are they worth it series? Um, I mean, I'm kind of glad we did magic. Cause I kind of want to open these again because they're really neat looking. Yeah, it was just next time we might want to uh, try to see more about the game, uh, like at least the new updates and stuff because. Uh, I know they had Modern Horizon, which is a very expensive set. Is it hard to play this game? Um, it's... So, it's basically... I don't know how to explain it, because... it You have a certain amount of damage you have to get to your uh, opponent. I forget what the damage is. I don't know if it's 30 or not. Mm -hmm. um, let us know down below, any Magic players, uh, you know, what the damage you have to, to deal to uh, when the game is. Um, but yeah, I mean, I it's it was fun to play. Ooh, we got a Lord of the Unknown Rare again. So we got three of those, and you got Force. Hmm. And then a Pegasus. Pegasus. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, uh, it was definitely a lot of fun to play. It was definitely, when I, when I was playing it, uh, I had my cousin teach me how to play. And at first, it, was, it seemed like it was confusing. But like once you keep playing it, it becomes easier. Uh, obviously, yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of uh, cards like there's a lot of expensive cards you would need to build a deck, I believe, for competitive play. Because um, that's why like Magic the Gathering has a lot of cash tournaments. Mm -hmm. So I, I I if I knew how to play and I, I was actually good at it, I would possibly try to uh, enter some of those tournaments, but. I like just the run out of play because the cards are so fast. Ooh, Vindictive Vampire. Wait, is it? Yeah. Um, there's a rare. So Ooh. you got Priest of Forgotten Gods. Oh, I would like to build this as a deck because that's cute. Ooh. And then you got a Spirit in. Gotta go Was it a land, a land, a gate? Hmm. So basically, you got lands too. That um, when when this comes in, it's tapped. And then you can, when it's tapped, you can add a uh, swamp or a mountain. So. Yeah, open one. Yeah. So we'll both each open up 
a Theros Beyond Death, and then if you want to open up both, you can. Okay. So, so I don't know if, like, we haven't gotten many actual, like, hollows, so I don't know if that, you know, means, <laughs> I don't know if that means that, you know, our packs aren't good. Uh, so this, ooh, is it weapons. worth it? We can't even tell if it's worth it, because we're not sure about the cards. Yeah, so we're leaving that to you guys. Do you <laughs> think that these uh, were definitely worth it? Um, let us know in the comments below. Um, obviously, for it, it being cool and everything, I think it's you know, worth it. Um, but, I mean, for ooh, our first rare. time opening them. Yeah. Oh, you got forest and a goat. A goat. Which is a token creature, so. Um, Technically, that should be my creature then, because I am a goat. <laughs> so, who's yours? Uh, but yeah, obviously, yeah. if um, like for hollow, like if I don't know if any of these are expensive, like as normal rares. But I mean, besides that, I don't know if they're really too much worth it. I mean, at least for the price point. Oh, I got but, a fish. <laughs> fish man. So you got Taran Wave Mystic. But just to be opening this is is pretty cool, especially like I said, we I don't think we ever open match to begin with. This like the cards make me think of Lord of the Rings. You got Omen of the Dead. More fish people. Maybe if we get enough cards, me and Chrissy will build a deck and like teach ourselves to play the game again. Ooh, Obviously, it won't be. Ooh, I mean, that's an enchantment. See, so, so see that stuff is actually I think new to me because I haven't seen stuff like that before. Can I just my home? Um, yeah. <gasps> Ooh, I like the swamp lands. I like how they make the basic lands now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, legendary artifact. Shadow Spear. And human soldier. I do like that. It would be a pretty awesome pet, too. Ugh. So, we're down to our final pack. I mean... It's funny, is me and you are more excited by like the logo type things than yeah. like the hollow. <laughs> well, like I said, I don't know. Like we've only pulled, I think, one hollow out of uh, every pack. Or no, like yeah, two. Like it's a oh, common look. one. Here's one for you, the dragons. Oh, so uh, Sagittarius Volley. Yeah, it's an instant. I like this. Thirteen shade. Yeah, yeah like I said, I used to because because of uh, when I was younger, I liked the uh, artworks for you know all the swamps. So that's why I built a deck out around it, even though um, I don't think it was that great. But. I mean, I'll probably be right with you on that one, just because the artwork. But I like the dead creatures. Ooh. But yeah, like see right here though, I was using like swamp and mountain. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a rare. Yes, um. Right? Per prognogative perception. I got a beast. So. Oh wait, I didn't get a thingy. Yeah, it was a beast. No, but that one had like the little uh, skull. Oh, no, that one didn't. It was only Theros Beyond Death. Oh. Yeah, that's so. So, just to do a little recap of what we pulled. Um, again, I mean, we pulled a bunch of rares and stuff, but satire was not supposed to be there no um but i mean i liked it and then oh we have three through. of those yeah that, that was the um oh, oh yeah and we pulled the, what the allure of unknown hollow and then consa to the pit which is a hollow but it's a so, common hollow so, so we had two hollows like that yeah so if if we're going you know are they worth it? Um, hollows? For hollows, no. Uh, but, you know, just for coolness factor, I say yes. I mean, but... it spiked my interest of to wanting to play, so. So, let us know down in the comments mm -hmm. below, once again, if, uh, you know, if you guys think this is worth it. Uh, if you, any Magic players are out there, um, we're sorry, you know, if we passed out good cards or don't know. And what <laughs> clan are you guys? Yeah, uh, well, what yeah, what type of decks do you guys usually use? Because, um, I mean, like I said, we we're planning on getting back into like playing all different types of card games. And we're going to have videos in the future with us playing. So, oh, those are going to be cringy. Yeah. So, uh, we, I, we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you did, again, just leave a like for our video. And until next time, we shall see you guys in our next TCG video.